If you like using Blender to create your game assets, you'll appreciate this video. We've asked the guys from cgcookie.com to showcase how to set up the scale in Blender so that your assets fit the FPS control plugin for the Unity game engine exactly. Now, in our opinion, CG Cookie has some of the best game art tutorials in the industry, so we're honored that they're helping you out. Enjoy! Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Williamson from cgcookie.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to export assets from Blender to Unity for use in FPS control with correct relative scaling such that all of our assets that we create in Blender just automatically fit the scene scale that we want in our FPS control scene. So first of all, in Blender we have this low poly asset and we want to bounce it over to Unity. So first let's check what we have in Unity as far as world size. So looking in the Shellshock scene, what I'm using here is a quick distance tool that was written by Wes McDermott. It's available for free in the Unity Asset Store, and it just easily allows me to measure from one point to another point to get a good frame of reference for the size of my objects. So in this case, I've chosen this door frame. This makes it really easy to see what the scale is, you know, something that we walk through every single day. And so using this, I can get a good sense for how big all of my other objects should be. And now if we look at the distance here, if we just select our point, we can see that from the bottom to the top of the door frame is approximately 2.3 Unity units. So this is one, or think of it in terms of cubes within Unity. So for example, if you create a game object, and we'll just do a cube, and you position it right there at the base of the floor, something, you know, approximately like this, the cube is one by one by one. And so this doorway is approximately two and a third cubes tall. And so if we think of it like this, this makes it really easy to then see how tall the door is. So it's 2.32 units tall. So what we want to do is then see what this translates to in Blender. So jumping back to Blender, let's first see how tall our asset currently is. And if we hit in to bring up our properties panel, we can see that using the default units in Blender, that our asset is 3.95 units tall. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean anything to us yet until we realize that Blender, along with Unity, also works in meters. So even though they have their own units of one unit, one unit, you know, in, the, in one Unity unit and then one Blender unit, those are actually equal. And so one Blender unit equals one Unity unit, which also happens to equal one meter. So this is a really, really tall fire hydrant. And if we, we can verify this by looking at metric, we can see that our meters here is three, three meters and 95 centimeters, noting that I have separate units enabled. Or under Imperial, we've got 12 feet, 11 and a half inches. So this is really, really tall. This is much taller even than most doorways. And if we assume for a second that most fire hydrants are somewhere between, you know, around two and a half feet tall, just guesstimating there, this is, you know, four or five times taller than we want. So what we want to do is go ahead and just scale this down. First to note that my origin point is right here at the very bottom center of the object, allowing me just to scale it like this. The other thing this allows me to do is when I move it around, if I enable grid snapping, just hit G and then maybe shift Z to just move it along the X and the Y, then I can easily snap to any unit. And this also works in Unity then, allowing me to keep everything nicely organized, snap to the grid. So you wanna be sure that your, your asset is has the origin point right there at the base. So now we can simply scale this down. And again, I'm gonna make it approximately two and a half feet. So I'll just scale it down to two feet, six inches, right about there, uh, like that. And then just left click, and then we can zoom right in on it. And the other thing that we need to do now is to apply our scales. Right now, the scale of our object is 0.193. So really all we've done is we've shrunk our object, but we, but we haven't actually told Blender that it's smaller. So what we need to do is we need to apply the transforms such that Blender knows that that's the actual size of the object, not just a shrunken version of the object, if that makes any sense. And so we're just going to hit Control A and apply the scale. You'll see that the scale goes right back to one to one to one, but our actual size, the dimensions of the object in relation to the world is still the same at two feet, six inches. So we're now ready to export. So I can now just go up to file and export. And in this case, I'm gonna use Collada. You can really use Collada or FBX or OBJ. Personally, I like Collada because it handles the textures really well. And I'll go ahead and transfer my textures right into my export folder, no problem. 
So here in the export settings, there's a couple of settings that I need to enable. The first one is selection only. This just ensures that if I have any other assets in my scene, which in this case, I have a couple different lamps for doing the GLSL shading inside Blender. This way it'll only export what's selected. And then I also want to, under the texture options, enable include material textures. This way it's going to first copy the textures and it, the textures it's going to copy are those that are applied to my materials that I've already created in Blender. You can also choose the ones that are added to the UV textures or only the active UV layer. So I'll just choose include material textures. I can use the default name and I will click export Collada. Now I can just bounce right over to Unity and it'll pull it right in. So then jumping into my assets folder right here, we can see that I now have a fire hydrant folder. And inside this, I have a fire hydrant model and then the textures that are associated with it. If we look over here in the preview, we can see it's just gray at the moment. And this is because right now it's not grabbing the textures. It's not finding them because they're in the wrong location. So if we just choose change our material naming from base texture name to models material and then click apply, that will pull them right in and automatically assign them correctly. Now it's only assigned the diffuse because that's the only shader we've got set up, but that's all right. The other thing that you wanna check is just be sure that your scale factor is set to one. Since we've assigned the scale in Blender and we know that those two correlate, then we wanna ensure that we're actually using the scale in Blender and not multiplying it times some value. Oftentimes, if you're exporting with FBX, this default scale factor in Unity when it imports the asset will be 0 0.01, and so your object will be really, really, really tiny. And so just be sure that this is one, unless you have a specific reason otherwise. And so now we can just drop our fire hydrant right here into our doorway, and you can see it places it. If we zoom in here and just grab our measurement tool, we can just grab these move them down approximately to the right position. I'm not, not going to get it too crazy accurate, just something approximately close. So it looks to be, you know, somewhere in the range of 0.78 units. If we look inside Blender, switch back over to the none units, we can see that our fire hydrant is exactly 0.763 units tall. And in Unity, this is actually accurate because really our scale here or our measurement is not exact. And there we go. So if we were to go in and get this absolutely exact, then you can see that they match perfectly. So now that we've set up our scene and we understand what the scale difference is between Blender and Unity and how to measure those, and in fact, since the scales are exactly the same, it makes it really easy, we can now create everything for our FPS control scene at exact scale and not have to worry about objects being either too small or too large or inconsistent with one another.